class is now in session. I'm Professor Hockey, and today we'll be doing the final player review of the season. So this would be the most disappointing player of the year. And for those of you who were keeping track, you would know that that, of course, is forward Timo Meyer. And Meyer kind of had a very odd season in a similar way to the season that Dylan Gambrell had, except quite the opposite. With Dylan Gambrell, I talked about how the eye test did him a lot of favors, but when you actually look deeper into the stats, you found that Dylan Gambrell actually had a pretty bad year. Meyer, it was the opposite. While the stats would say that Meyer wasn't too too bad this season he had an okay year maybe a C potentially a C minus the eye test on the other hand looked quite unfavorably onto Timo Meyer as it just looked as though he was quite checked out of a lot of games but first let's talk about to the journey to this point for Timo Meyer he was drafted in the 2015 entry draft it was the Sharks first high overall pick since Logan Couture in 27 or in 2007 I should say so expectations were rather high considering the player that Logan Couture turned out to be and the 2015 draft was absolutely stacked there was a ton of talent I mean uh, the Islanders picked Matt Barzal just a few picks after the Sharks got Meyer the Avalanche picked Miko Rantanen literally the pick after Meyer was taken and so Meyer the expectations were certainly there and it seemed as though he was meeting them at first in his career the obviously he doesn't end up playing the 15-16 season no surprise there the 16-17 season was more of an introduction to the NHL he got about a couple dozen games didn't look particularly good his major downside was that he was kind of a shot machine which you would say is that really a downside don't coaches want players to take a ton of shots well in this case they were very very low percentage shots so a lot of the time it would go from Sharks possession moving the puck around the offensive zone where it would end up on Meyer stick and he'd take a shot from the half wall with no traffic in front easy save for the other team's goaltender and then they would get a face off which was not necessarily favorable for the San Jose Sharks but going into the 17-18 season it was Meyer's first full year at the NHL and he was relatively impressive at least for a player his age at the age of 21 his development was going maybe slightly slower than some of his other peers at the 15 at the 2015 draft but still solid he managed to score just over 20 goals in that season he played almost the full year and got 36 points going into the 18-19 season it was expected that Timo Meyer would take a step forward and he, not only did he take a step forward he took maybe you know an entire leap forward honestly he almost doubled his point total moving from 36 points to 66 points he got to the 30 goal mark and his underlying stats were absolutely fantastic it was a great year for Timo Meyer. a lot of people currently talk about the Timo Meyer contract as though it is quite bad and with his performance over these past couple of years it honestly doesn't look all that great but it should be remembered that at the time of signing this contract which was the 2019 offseason after that great 18-19 year year people regarded this contract as one of the best signed during that offseason it seemed like an absolute steal to pay six million dollars for a player who just scored 30 goals and 60 point and 66 points and that's even without the context of the fact that this player was still only 22 years of age and that his underlying stats seem to indicate that he would go even further upwards in terms of points going into the next season but that did not end up being the case and you could technically blame the general downturn of the Sharks season but Timo Meyer has to take some of the blame on himself as he seemed to be a shell of his former self in that 1920 season just not nearly looking as good neither offensively or even defensively Meyer was never a defensive stalwart but he also wasn't a massive liability necessarily but during the 1920 season there were a lot of defensive issues as well now going into the 2021 season as it was viewed for most of the rest of the Sharks team you know I talked about it with Eric Carlson most recently in the previous video it was viewed as a potential reset year for the San Jose Sharks that the 1920 season was just a slight bump in the road and with this 10 month break that they've had due to the delays from the COVID pandemic that the Sharks would come out the gate strong in the 2021 season but that didn't end up being the case and Timo Meyer was a big part of that as we 
we move on to the stats here, they don't actually look all that awful. 54 games played, so he just missed a couple due to injury. In terms of goals, it was 12 goals. This was one that really stuck out like a sore thumb. Timo Meyer is a goal scorer. As I said, 30 goals in that 18-19 season, but he only managed to get 12 here, which would be 18 over a full season, so we couldn't even get to the 20 goal mark in this year. 19 assists, which would be 29 points in a full year for 31 points, which would be 47. Not good for a top six forward making six million dollars but not totally awful either he was a minus five which certainly doesn't look all that bad and he got about 16 minutes of ice time this season which was about a minute less than where he had been in the past couple of years but nothing necessarily to write home about but the major issue was as i mentioned earlier it was the eye test and as i said timo meyer just looked completely checked out in a lot of the games he played obviously you don't want to make the the comment that a player isn't putting in the effort because you can imagine that most hockey players would take great offense to that because hockey is a game that takes a lot of energy you're skating a lot you're hitting a lot you're absorbing a lot of hits and you're you, you know you're doing a lot of things but it has to be said that even if this wasn't technically the case it absolutely did look like Meyer just wasn't really trying all that hard through many of the games this season there were a few games that it looked like vintage Meyer and that Meyer was going to come back and that he you turned things around on the year but then by the next game he would look back like he would ha like he did through most of the season where a lot of the times he was just kind of like how he was in his first ever NHL action where he'd kind of take these low percentage shots he really wouldn't do much with the puck which was access accept acceptable in his first season as a rookie at the age of 19 but is much less acceptable at this point of his career remember this downturn is even more inexplicable because if we look at a player like Logan Couture who just recently this past season had a career low in terms of points you could at the very least say well you know Logan Couture is on the wrong side of 30 he's 33 years of age so it is expected that there's going to be some sort of downturn in terms of production but for Timo Meyer, his career high is at the age of 22 and most players primes are at between the age of 24 and 26 so if you think that 66 points happened in 22 years of age you would expect that at the very least at 24 years of age he'd be able to replicate that season if not do better than that but instead during these supposed to be prime years of Timo Meyer's career he has instead seen a massive downturn in terms of production which is extremely disappointing to see so it's really hard to come up with an explanation for why Meyer has been so significantly worse than he was just two seasons ago at such a young age honestly it completely baffles me at this point and I've been trying to think of some sort of reason at least for T uh, for Martin Jones you could say well you know the Sharks defense as a whole changed because of the introduction of Eric Carlson and of course there were the changes to the goalie equipment so at the very least those things could begin to explain things for Martin Jones but for Timo Meyer, I'm just at a complete loss and so when we move on to a grade for this season again as I said the stats don't look completely awful which makes it which keeps this grade from being exceptionally low but I just cannot look past the awful awful eye test that I saw almost every single game from Timo Meyer this past season where he just looked completely uninterested in what the Sharks were trying to do and in what just in general a hockey team should be trying to do which is actually winning hockey games class dismissed